HGB family, how's it going? Welcome to Hold the Ball. Hope you guys are well. Thanks again for tuning in. This is a pretty big video in my opinion. Um, it's probably going to make a, a bit of noise in the coming days, but I thought I'd uh, get onto this and, and sort of give my own opinions on it. So uh, without further ado, DJ, hit that intro. guys it is here it's official i want to really try and dissect this in different little pieces because uh my brain is sort of churning and these lot of different thoughts and, and and things that come to mind but brian toto yes uh panthers as well as new south wales blues winger has uh committed to samoa he has given his pledge his allegiance and basically saying for this rugby league world cup he's uh playing for samoa it wasn't that long ago when we heard toto basically saying that he was going to pledge for australia which is not bad at all, right? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with Samoa and Tongans pledging for Australia or even for New Zealand. It is what it is. You take it for what it is. But uh, no, he's come and he said he's pledging for Samoa. Now, the team as a whole and what that could sort of bring for, for Tor Samoa is, is a plethora of players, possibly. The likes of Haas, Tino Fa'asua Maleawi, Luai, right? But uh, you sort of look at the other players too, right? Su'a. Right, um, you've got the likes of Bolo. This this could be quite significant, actually, quite significant for Tor Samoa and their campaigning into the Rugby League World Cup. But this is not what the video is primarily about. It's not so much about Tor's allegiance as much as it is actually about the domino effect, right? So I've been reading on social media, right, whether that be Twitter or Facebook, Instagram, and there are a lot of people who are a bit up in arms in it, namely Australians and. I just want to sort of bring to the forefront that it's not a bad thing to, to get upset about this, you know, because the reality is, you know, people will. I guess in the same vein as well, you had the Tongans like Jason Taumarolo, Tauke Aho, Manu Ma'u, right? And I suppose Fifita as well, right? Uh, in Australian context, when they pledged their allegiance to Tonga, right, over their respective nations of birth. And obviously Australians and, and I suppose Kiwis or the like were a bit up in arms, but some at the same time too were cheering because it brings competitive rugby league. Now... The question and, and the, the, the reason why I'm bringing up the people who are not so happy about it is because if you think about it, Toll plays for New South Wales, right? State of origin. So at the same time as well, you get those who are saying, well, if he's going to play for Samoa, why is he playing state of origin, right? Which is interesting because people are sort of saying, well, you know, if you're going to play origin, you should play for Australia. But we all know that Australia, the origin is not necessarily a testing ground for national selection and never has been, Right. It's only now, since uh, in the last couple of years, since this huge surge of Pacifica, you know, Ireland players have come through the ranks, that it's now brought into question. You know what I mean? You go back a few years ago, and we'll be honest, we'll call a spade a spade. The game was predominantly a game that was played by Caucasian men, you know, white. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just a fact, particularly in Australia. Now, you come into this day and age now, you know, we don't need to talk about New Zealand, right? But Australia is, is sort of uh, coming through that transition too. Or a lot of the players coming up are being Islander players, right? Namely, right? Kukan Heritage, Māori, even Māori Australians, Mozzies as you call them, Samoans, Tongans, Fijians, the like. They're all coming through and guess what? They don't want to play for Australia. You know, they don't mind playing Origin, which is fine. But at the same time as well, you know, they're happy to play and play for the Heritage, which is fine too. But obviously now it sort of brings the question... What are the ARL, the Australian Rugby League, or the NRL going to do now because of this? Um, Total for Mine has brought on the issue that I was waiting to happen, uh, that I was waiting for, basically. And I don't mean that in a in a bad way either, but, you know, we all know what happened when we had the, the Tongans, right? Who who, who, I choose, who chose, you know, Mate Ma Tonga over the Kiwis, which in, over New Zealand, which was fine. But now we have, in a much bigger pool, and a well, much bigger fish, you know, the likes of, you know, Dupo, for example, right? Then you have got Tony Staggs, for example, Brian Toto. And the thing about these players like Dupo and Toto is these players here would get selected to play for Australia. I'm sorry, but they would. Whether you like it or not, they would. Particularly if the likes of New South Wales do win the origin. Hello, you've got your winger one and winger two, right? And they're both alleging, uh, both, sorry, pledging to play for Samoa and Tonga respectively. So again, again, like I said, 
what will the NRL ARL do? Will they make it so that now, if you only play for Origin, you can only play for Australia? Because if they do, it's going to be an uproar. It's going to be chaos. And you see my smile on my face because now, now we're going to bring Origin more into spotlight here. I actually appreciate those Pacific Islander players who play Origin and then they choose the heritage. Like, so be it. You know, it is what it is. Especially in Australia. Like, you got to understand in Australia, rugby league in Australia, right? It's a big thing, you know, like rugby league in general. But obviously through the Australia, like when you play for Origin, you play, you normally used to just get fed straight into Australia. But now, not anymore. Not anymore. You get players now who are saying, nah, I'll play for the Blues, but I want to play for Samoa. Or I'll play for Queensland, but I still want to play for Tonga. Or I'll play for the Blues and, you know, so on and so forth. So this is a good positive domino effect in my opinion. But the reality is I want to know what the outcome is. What do you think the outcome is? You know what I mean? Like what do you think is going to happen now? Seriously, what do you think is going to happen now? I I like it. It's good. I think Toa Samoa, legit, as I've always thought, with their full strength squad, are a legit uh, threat to the, to the you know, to, to anyone versing them. But uh, yeah, what, what does Origin do? Does Origin become more strict? And if the case, to be fair with you guys, you probably won't see as much Polynesian players as, as, as you would, right? Which could be a hindrance, perhaps, potentially, to the game quality. You know, because Pacific Islander players, we bring our own little flair to it. We bring our own little thing. But at the same time as well, for the growth of the game too. A lot of questions, but uh, it's just an interesting move there. And Brian Toto, yeah, like I said, the first domino effect. Now what happens next? But uh, yeah, give me your opinions. And um, also guys, before I finish this, I want you guys to know as well, I'm actually thinking of making some merch, but not necessarily t-shirts and stuff per se. Not for now anyway. But I'm thinking of uh, making beanies and, and caps and stuff. And if that's something you're interested in, please like and please let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of doing that stuff. And as you guys know, there is a giveaway. And yes, I'll be doing shout outs as well. Um, and while I'm actually on that as well, I will give a shout out actually. I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers. Uh, subscribers, one of my loyalists, Levi Hawkins. Hashtag loyal to the soil. You know who you are, man. Um, thanks again for commenting and, and always being there for the ups and downs of the Warriors and understanding how i feel at the same time as well you know but i appreciate you man and there you go bro that's your shout out as well and uh, I'm, I'm also doing a live tomorrow which you guys know but i'm also thinking i might do a an after game reaction as well like get some of you guys on so i might put the discord uh sorry the discord i might put the uh the stream yard link onto the comments i'll pin it and i'll get you guys to come in one by one right and just give me your own thoughts on the on the, the game primarily Warriors fans you know obviously jump to the front of the queue but you get what I mean like I might do that and just sort of see where we go from there but uh, anyway I think I'll I'll be done for now take it easy see you guys next time and uh, give me your thoughts but anyway take it easy see you guys next time just remember hold the ball